I mean, basically, y'all keep calling, y'all keep asking me, do I recall this and recall that? Remember this from 2013? I don't remember never 2013. I keep telling y'all that. That has been my statement since I got here. Your Honor, uh, I've been telling y'all and telling y'all, y'all people constantly hit me with this, keep constantly asking me this and that and third about what's going on in 2013 or whatever. I don't remember. I don't know nothing about 2013. I, I, all I can tell you is, y'all, y'all got my name on the, on the, on the recorder, my phone number on the recorder. These people threatening me, they called on my phone. Your Honor, I don't lost my job. I got a lot going on behind this here. I put all this behind me, sir. Everything that had going on with me, I put everything behind me and kept moving on about my life, sir. Your Honor, I can't, I can't continue to keep going on like this. I don't remember. I don't remember nothing from 2013, sir. Mr. Bean, you have to answer the questions, okay? I'm constantly keep telling me, constantly keep telling you. I don't remember nothing from 2013. We're going to ask you because I have to lay a foundation. Do you remember telling Detective Quinn on September 17, 2013, on recording, that you add a little more hype when you speak with your wife and them from the from the jail, but you lied to them. I the remember y'all trying to assassinate me right now in 2024. That's what I remember. That's what I remember. All this going on right here on this, on, got, got me up on this stand, to my this and that third, all this extra stuff that's going on. Your Honor, I, I'm on trial, Your Honor. Sir, you just have to answer the questions, unfortunately, unfortunately, at this point in time, okay? That's all I can tell you. I'm on trial. No, sir, you're not on trial, but you do have to, but you have been properly summoned here as a witness and you're subject to examination until I release you. I never consent to do none of this, sir. I ain't signed nothing. My name ain't on nothing. They come get me, they, they, they got them threatening to lock me up. Hey, I got a family too. I mean, come on, I, I told y'all I don't remember this in 2013. Come with the conversation. Hey, you know, remember we was in front of the house? The conversation we had in front of the house before we went to the program? Keep it a hundred, man. With yourself. I, I can't hear you, Mr. Bean. Can you, can you take your mask off if you wouldn't mind? Keep it a hundred. With yourself. Not me. We had a conversation in front of the house. Yeah. Before we went to the program. Yeah. You asked to go to the program. I, I never agreed to do none of this from the beginning. Before we even had this, what you just played. Mr. Bean. I keep telling you, I remember that for 23 I didn't really remember that then. Mr. Bean, who threatened to lock you up? Sir, I don't know. I, I talked to you on, you on the tell you something. It, it, you know, sir, answer I'm the on question. trial for anything. Can I, can I be excused? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I really don't understand what's going on. I don't remember. My head hurt. They keep asking me questions about this. Keep asking me questions about that. By 2013, I don't remember. No, you can't be excused at this point in time, Mr. Bean. You have to, you have to be, you're subject to examination. Uh, so, um, I don't, I don't remember. Who you just told the jury, the Honorable Judge Glanville, and all of us, that you've been threatened to be locked up. I didn't, I didn't consider to come I here standing on the stand to be a witness, first of all. Who threatened you to lock you up? Lock you up means go to jail. They want no threat. The subpoena go out. They say you don't show up. They're going to lock you up and go to jail or whatever. And all this extra stuff like that right now. I ain't, you know, I ain't here to point fingers at nobody saying nothing like that. That ain't my job. But you just it, said, it ain't for me to mention what nobody got going on in their life. I got, I got my own problem. Who threatened you? You just told the jury that you've been threatened. I don't had all kinds of threats, man. I just exploded my whole phone now on, 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 to the world. People calling my phone right now threatening me. Texting my phone. I, been, I ain't had no sleep. I've been up all night since yesterday, 7 o'clock, from 7 o'clock yesterday to 6 o'clock this morning. Still getting calls. Still getting texts. That's my personal line y'all just gave out. On live to the, to the public, to the whole wide world. Who threatened to put you in jail, mister? He's answered that question already, Mr. Steele. Let's move on from that. Do you remember telling Detective Quinn on September 17, 2023, that when speaking on a jail-recorded lines, your wife... I'm visualizing the story, trying to make it all one. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling them a lot. A little shenanigan, be bold, blank. You remember saying that? Ms. Love, I already asked me a thousand and one questions. I told her I don't recall nothing from 2013. I don't even recall the conversation really that me and you even had. You somebody else push up on me, ask me questions. They wanna, let somebody else come to I'll get them a story, too. Everybody won't keep asking me questions, asking me questions. I'm, I'm going to move on with my life, man. I ain't got time for these games. Y'all done assassinated me, man. Hey, hey, it's, about time, it's about time for some actions now.